I remember barely being able to reach the bags in the gym, trying to hit them like this, boom, boom, boom. I couldn't reach them. My dad would pick me up just so I could hit the bags, and I would watch him fight. I'd watch him in the gym, and I always knew, like, yeah, I want to be a boxer just like my dad. Seeing your dad up there is like superhero to you, so I was like, man, dad, I want to fight. I want to be a boxer like you, this and that. And he's like, no, I don't want you to fight. Well, Lopez is actually the son of Mexican silver medalist, boxer, and professional fighter. Hector Lopez. I would put him in everything but boxing. Everything but boxing. I didn't want them to box. Still undefeated, Adam Lopez. The father was a tremendous competitor in the boxing ring, and both of them definitely are tremendous competitors. Well, I'm sure they do it for their dad. Shit, it's in their blood. <laughs> Today's sports pages are filled with comeback stories. Lightweight Hector Lopez is a comeback story with a twist. This lightweight is on the comeback trail after spending the better part of three years in prison for assault. I always loved him a lot, even though he wasn't always there. I always wanted him there. Hector ended up having um, an issue with, uh, with substance abuse and drinking. That was a big problem. Had some trouble after a good start in his pro career, was incarcerated, has come back now fighting in California. And you, he is a boxer who still believes he has enough to win a world title. He could have been two or three time world champion. He just, uh, you know, he liked to get high and get drunk, you know what I mean? That's the only person that could whoop Hector was Hector. Hector El Torero. He was always in and out of jail, you know, my whole life and then he died when I was 15. And even though you know he's no longer with us, rest in peace, he tried, he did the best he could, and I know he loved them too very much. No matter what problems come, there's always a way to get over it and to beat it and to make something of yourself. So that's what I've really learned from him. Just when things get tough, you know, you gotta, you gotta look at the bright side and the positive things and just like put your head down and get to work, you know? And he just showed me never give up. Keep going. Don't give up, it ain't over. It's just the beginning. Boxing, all day, every day. That's what I do every single day. There you go. If you wanna fight, you gotta get up in the morning, you gotta run. You gotta eat right, you gotta work hard. I like everything about them. From their work ethic, to the way they carry themselves, to the way they fight. They have talent, that's number one. Number two, their attitude. They fight anybody you put in front of them. They have potential being world champions, both of them. They're very dedicated. They have a lot of discipline. I think they have a really good chance to make it. They both want to win very badly, and they're willing to do whatever it takes. I think they want to continue the legacy their dad started. That's what's driving them. I mean, I see their dad in them all the time. Whatever they do, I see their dad in them. Right now, I'm in my father's shadow. I don't want to be known as the son of Hector Lopez. I want to be known as Adam Lopez. That's the goal, man. That's just to be my own fighter, not like live in the shadow of my father, and make my own lane for myself, and my brother wants to do the same thing. But I think both of them can be world champions. I believe that and um, I'm gonna help them every step of the way. As much as I didn't really want them to go this route, I do support them. Shit, they should both be champions. Now I'm in. I'm in the ball game now. You know, it's my brother. We've been through everything. Real tight bond with my brother. They have that thing, man, and with that brother love that they have, they're gonna make it, man. They're gonna definitely make it without a doubt.